Hello, I'm Benjamin Yant with the Illinois State House News Vodcast for the Rob Lagojevich Corruption Trial. Tuesday saw more testimony and saw, or more importantly, heard more tapes in that case. And as our reporter in the courtroom, Bill McMorris, tells us, those tapes did not end well for the former governor. He had a rough day uh, among the jurors. You know, to, to close the day, the most damning soundbite of his career played, the one in which he famously declares that, I got this thing and it's effing golden and I'm not giving it away for effing nothing. You know, that, that would be a bad day in and of itself, except that was the highlight, that was the high point for Rob Bogoyevich today. The jury did hear the effing golden tape. Prosecutors didn't release it, so we may not be able to hear it till later this week. Some of the tapes that have been released once again show that Blagojevich was extremely frustrated by the Senate seat in the sense that he was being left behind. I just talked to Balanoff. Yeah. You called him? Yeah. Okay. It's clear he got the message back from them. They want no part of me. You know, the Rusko thing. And right, right. I said, you know, it's really, I get that I'm a big boy, I can handle that, but it's really fucking galling. This guy's more toned it up than I am. And it's almost like they fucking cons they made a concerted effort, and they got the Chicago media to fucking make me worry Rusko more, to fucking dilute it from him. But one of the more damaging tapes that has been played so far is a call between the Blagojeviches, Rod and his wife Patty, where they talk about the Senate seat, and the scheming is evident. So let's see. So what's your next move? Well, Balanoff can talk to her. I keep working with him. I mentioned my 501c4 advocacy thing. Fred believes if Valerie Jarrett takes herself out, you know, I can more. He, he was sleeping on this, and he, he called me. And his argument is, um, you got more cover to send yourself now. Nan right. thinks it's a big mistake. I wish you should do just a quick little poll. I thought that we might poll. I think it's worth it. Jesse Jr. is promoting a Zogby poll that makes him the choice of most Illinoisans. Yeah. Jesse Jr. Yeah, right. That, sure. that, that, there's no way I'm pointing him, man. Are you kidding? You're going to be kidding me. Mm -hmm. Huh? You know what? We have to decide for the lifestyle thing that we want to do something like that. Right. Huh? Well, I mean, I think the big decision is whether what is that our long-term plan better. Right. Maybe she calls us. <laughs> better I spend two years doing that or two years doing this. Right. Nap is clearly stay here. Yeah. Well, but you know, we, we feel like Nap's a bit tainted. Right? Yeah, somewhat. He's a bit of he's on a Lisa bandwagon today. What? Lisa Madigan bandwagon. Make her the yeah. senator. Nap. Yeah. Hines would be the absolute worst thing. That clears the field for Lisa to run for governor. It's just, it's the absolute worst. Send Dan Hines. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Huh? What does that do for me? Nothing at all. Except make my situation worse. have to stay because you were there. You couldn't look like you were eliminating him. Oh, that's a fact. You yeah, all of that. I just, you know, I just recuse myself from being a part of that discussion, officially. Right. Then just put the pressure on. Yeah. Durbin. I want you to think about the lifestyle decision if we take a Senate thing. Right. For us. Big, no, it's a big change. Huh? It's a big change, and not necessarily for the better. Well, don't dismiss it. No, no, I'm not dismissing it. I mean, it might I'm not... a necessary change. We're 
stuck in mud here. I mean, if Arnold leaves, nobody wants to be governor these days. It's bad being governor. Stop arguing with me. I said it. It's, you know, it's not a change, you know, not good, but not something I would not want to do. Right. It opens up opportunities for you here that you don't have now. Right. Financially for us. Maybe, yeah. I'm going to get working on that now. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. What's best for us? Right. First and foremost, on the legal front, the, you know, the personal front and the political front, in that order. Right. Legal front, personal front, political front, in that order. Right. Right? Right. So, legal front, probably... National news, you know, under federal investigation, he points himself, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's a big fear, you know. Right, okay. You know, same so, issue as President-elect Obama. The people have weighed in on it. Okay. You know, neither one of us did anything wrong. Right. Right? And, uh, you know, Sarah Palin was under investigation. Not federal. Yeah. Criminal. Testimony continues Wednesday, though so far the judge in the case has kept the Blagojevich defense team on a very, very short leash. You can find this vodcast here on the Illinois State House website, IllinoisStateHouseNews.com, as well as on our YouTube channel every day that there's court. You can find our daily coverage in newspapers across the state as well as at the ISN website.